Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the uh oversized knockoff age of extinction drift <laughs> so yeah this is the uh oversized uh maybe maybe it's sort of simplified a little bit age of extinction drift from the movie and it's pretty damn cool the plastic is not that bad the doors kind of feel wonky but the rest of the plastic feels really solid uh this is the uh uh, I think it's the Pagani. I'm not a car guy, but uh, yeah, cool car. As you can see, it's really simplified as uh, the color goes. We do have some nice metallic blue right here. This bumper is kind of loose. We do have metallic blue and metallic gray here. We're missing a blue stripe on the side right here. We do have some more details on the back with the tail lights being silver and the back bumper being metallic blue. But that's pretty much it as it goes for paint. We do have some more details, but this goes for robot mode. Now, before going uh, in the car, let's just check. The, the instructions are uh, totally ripped off, copied off uh, pretty much uh, the um, uh, the original drift from the Transformers. Because there's some stuff going on in here that that thing doesn't do. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the transformation is very, very basic. Well, the transformation is the same, almost, to a couple of steps, but uh, the instructions are really, yeah. Uh, it comes with a card, I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, on one side we have, like, Stylized, Transformers, Unicron, Megatron, Shockwave, and uh, Optimus Prime, and something that I cannot read, five. <laughs> and on the other side we have Animated Prime Bumblebee, I guess. With some stats, I don't know why. This is Drift, not Bumblebee. So uh -huh. now he does come with swords. Uh, so we have his two tiny swords right here, and the two tiny swords should uh, originally peg inside of the hood, but they do not peg in at all. Let's just open this up, and sh I, I want to show it to you. But I've been, I've been trying day and night. <laughs> Come on, I'll beg. All right. So yeah, the, this opens up. This opens up, and when you're in robot mode, you can peg the the swords here. Those work, but underneath the uh, windshield right here, there's two pegs at, uh, for car storage. This is where they go, but the pegs are way too big and doesn't work at all. That's really weird. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, transfer, the the, the the storage of the weapon inside it doesn't work at all, and it's really disappointing. So let's put this back in. Put the thing in. This goes here, and we need to peg on both sides here. And that's pretty much it. Then we have these swords. Now these swords are for drift but the helicopter drift not the car mode drift so yeah usually uh his a normal sword would peg in here which would peg in like this in here but these are the wrong sword i mean they're the good sword for drift but the wrong sword for the wrong model these goes with the helicopter drift so these again cannot peg but we can peg in the smaller sword smaller one at work so we do have storage for the small swords you can peg them either way front back it doesn't uh, hinder the, the car because it still rolls but yeah these swords are good they're nice plastic kind of solid but uh, yeah you can also peg them for making a bigger sword but like I said these are not his uh, Good swords for the car mode, so there's no storage for instruction says they go somewhere here and to peg the MM out as you transform. I've looked for hours on both sides to find how these would peg in and could not manage it. So yeah. We got sword. I forgot to show them, but this this tiny sword looks like this. Kinda cool. Just giant peg. And the longer sword, like this. 
So yeah, swords. As for the car, as you can see, it rolls. Uh, paint uh, I've already checked, and yeah, it's uh, pretty much it. it's just a sports car. Uh, for our size comparison, we've got here Earth Siege, Earthrise, a hoist. So yeah, you can see uh, it's quite oversized. <laughs> Uh, transformation, like I said, remains pretty much the same as the original, so let's open this up. Goes like this, and these joints are super tight and kind of scares me as they feel like they would snap as they are so tight, and you can hear the, the clack. <laughs> it's not a really good thing, but yeah. Uh, next up, you want to pull the hood out completely, like this. Pull it off. You want to flip this in, like the, the hood just goes in like this. There's a lot of clearance problem on top, but it works. And then you rotate it around, flip this down, and flip this out like this. You can bring this, uh, wait, first you need to spread the arms open and bring them down. These are some nice uh, soft ratchets, so it's pretty cool. Close this back in. Flip the head from the back, and like this, and you have a sort of different head. And then you plug the backpack in here on the back of the neck, like so, and it pegs in like super solidly. Finally, the legs, straighten them up, unpeg them, rotate the foot, rotate the foot, and then you rotate this panel here down, and rotate this back. Rotate this down, this back. So that's pretty much it. So let's move the camera a little bit up so we can see. And yeah, we have drift completed. <laughs> and he is pretty cool. He is a quite uh, cool figure. Like I said, the plastic is pretty solid. More, more solid than most KOs I've uh, handled. But uh, still, uh, it's still KO. You know, and the, the quality is not on par with Hasbro, but it's still better than most most transformers you'd get at a dollar store, you know. <laughs> you can take the tiny swords, and like I said, you can peg them in the back right here. These works. So you can give them like this look like this, with the sword spread like this. As for the longer sword, you can peg them in the arm. Well, just you can uh, angle them up and slide them in like this. So they work. Voila, it's really tight, but it works. So, yeah, this is a drift. Uh, bigger scale than usual. This is more of a big Voyager small leader scale, I guess. Uh, if you want a comparison for size, here's a Voyager. Well, it's leader, but still Voyager <laughs> sized shockwave from Earth uh, uh, Siege Line. <laughs> So yeah, you can see this one is a little bit bigger. So yeah, more of a leader class uh, size. And if you want another comparison, here we have Bumblebee off-road from Studio Series, which is deluxe. So he's half the size. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, still pretty cool. Take a closer look. The head is all a ball joint. So we can oh go up, left, right. Do you have some details? It looks he looks a little bit different. He looks more like a mask samurai, like the ninja mask over a samurai helmet kind of look. <laughs> we do have a rotation at the elbow, swivel here, swivel there. We have elbow bent that goes 90 degrees and go backward a little bit. We have a swivel right here at the uh, uh, wrist. We have these panels that can move up and down. Uh, we don't have anything at the waist. We do have the legs that spread like this. Goes forward like this. Oops. Backward. Uh, it will be endured by the backpack. But yeah. Do have a swivel of the upper thigh. The knee bends uh, a little bit to 90 degrees. A little bit more. And uh, yeah, foot can uh, just go like this. There's no side swivel or anything. So yeah. It's not that bad, but yeah, for a knockoff, that's pretty good. I'm uh, I'm impressed.
for the price. Uh, it's really cheap. I got this from Sear Toys. So I'm gonna put the link in the description below if you're interested. It's really dirt cheap and mostly for your kids. Now, I don't think collectors would be interested in this, but it, mostly for your kids, if you don't want them, you know, if you don't mind them breaking or losing or whatever, this is really cheap and still looks pretty good. And it's huge, so kids will love it. Uh, we do have nice paint details on the thigh, on the uh, abs, the uh, front chest right here, and the side panel is all metallic blue, so that's kind of cool too. So yeah, like I said, uh, knockoff from Sear Toys, pretty cheap. I'll put the link in the description below the video. I encourage you to go and take a look at it. Even if you're not interested in the figure, go and look at Sear Toys. It's still one of the better sites right now for KO stuff. So yeah, not much else to say. So uh, I thank you for watching. I'll. Uh, Leave some comments and uh, register, subscribe, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know the song. So I <laughs> thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.